What up? What up? What is up? How y'all doing today? I already know who it is. Urban Culture. Coming in with some more of that real goodness, that juice. Y'all already know what it is. Again, I'm going to tell it to you exactly how you got to hear it. But we just going to start off with something a little different. I want to talk about Mr. Steal Your Girl, Trey Songs, ordered to pay 11.2 million, god damn, to a cop over an alleged assault in Las Vegas Hotel. Wait, he assaulting cops? No, 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 it's alleged assault. That, that means it didn't, we don't know if it happened. People allegedly saying, I'm about to allegedly whip your ass if you don't get on to the point. My bad, my nigga. Let's get to it. So basically, back in 2021, Trey Songs got into some trouble. Let's start with who the problem was with. This man named Tyrell Dunn sued him. Now, he sued him in 2023. The incident, again, happened in 2021. Now, according to the press reports, Tyrell also referred to himself as in the reports as Maryland Capitol Police Officer, alleged that his wife was, quote unquote, escorted to Song's room, hotel room at the Cosmopolitan, where she was, quote unquote, assaulted and tried to leave, but had her phone taken away. So I don't, there's a lot of questions that I have in her, because obviously y'all know with a name like Mrs. Steal Your Girl, I would think that it's, uh, I don't know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Consent? was given you know what i'm saying it's basically yes i'm escorting there but i mean he probably really did steal this bitch we don't know <laughs> but <laughs> but um this policeman said that his wife was escorted there and she was assaulted um it sounds like some regretted language but i'll just leave that to you out of the side in the, in the comments I don't, you know what i'm saying nigga don't just walk with trey songs to the room against your will pause you know what i'm saying I mean, unless we roll and die. Anyway, so he said he heard his wife's cries for help and then he was attacked. He said the resulting injuries were severe enough that he missed a month of work. Quote unquote, the attack has had a profound and everyday impact on my life. I still have the scarring and suffer emotionally from the attack. I think about the attack every day. When I see the injuries on my face and body, now, I ain't gonna lie to you. Getting your girl stole, hearing her cries for help, and you hear how she got her doonies dusted, and then you get your ass whooped. That was a just a, a trifecta of L that whole night. Now I ain't saying I could fight, you know what I'm saying? But uh, how the fuck did she get escorted? I ain't gonna. We ain't even go there. I'm glad you tried to jump in and save her. But the fact that they beat your ass to the point where you think about this mug for the past three years. <laughs> God damn. Now, the funny part about it is the uh, hotel said, quote unquote, he was battered in a room and we can't go up there because we're not sure if the people are armed. We know they're black. We just don't know that they didn't say we know they're black. Part. I threw that in there. Sorry, guys. They battered him and they stole his money and his chain. So you got your girl took, you had to listen to it. Then they whipped your ass and then they took your chain and they took your money and then left you with lasting trauma about this ass whooping. You ain't even saying like I'm thinking about the trauma of hearing what happened with her. You you already gave up on that. You know, you threw that in the skies. Like, you know, probably she was doing what the fuck she was doing. But they whipped the monkey dust off your ass. And now you're thinking about it in the future. That's crazy. That's crazy. But, yeah, please leave in a comment if you know somebody who caught a worse L than that. Um, and then in the situation, how would you handle it? You know what I'm saying? Would you go ahead and get your homeboy, Mr. Blicky, and try to handle the situation right then? Or, you know, would your girl even go to the room? You know what I'm saying? Shit, would you even go to the room? You know what I'm saying? I, I like to think that my wife and I have enough communication that she wouldn't do that. But I understand everybody has, uh, everybody, you know, hypergamy does exist. You know what I'm saying? Shit, if the roles were switched and it was Carrie Hilson, you know, even Beyonce, it was like, what happened? <laughs> she brought me to the room and then they beat my wife out. <laughs> anyway, all right, let me shut up. I'm going to continue. My bad. So it says on the lawsuit that songs never responded. Mr. Steal Your Girl 
was now Mr. Not Responding. And it entered a, de a default judgment against him on October 10th for the amount exactly of $11,277,961.31. I'm sorry, 37 cents. Goddamn. But he was never criminally charged for the hotel incident. So the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, I think I said that right. Don't quote me on that. Uh, LVMPD, sounds like a new drug, has concluded that the investigation into the sexual assault allegations against Trey Songs and determined that no criminal charges will be filed. That's what they said back in 2022. If any evidence comes to light, the case will be reopened for further investigation. So he just chose not to respond. And I'd be pissed off if I got to pay 11.2 mil because your girl wanted to be with me and we just had to beat your ass because you wanted to protect her. You know what I'm saying? And I just didn't want to respond. I will never want to pay a debt for not responding. That shit is annoying. But speaking of lawsuits and filing, y'all already know I had to jump into this. Mickey Ficky, Drake. Why did I say Mickey Ficky? I ain't say, I, last time I heard that was on uh, BET. I was watching Juice. And they didn't want to say motherfucker. So Snoop, not Snoop. Tupac said Mickey Ficky. You don't know spit. Now get out the Mickey Ficky. <laughs> Alright, my bad. So, speaking of Drake, as y'all know, this man filed a lawsuit, sorry, not a lawsuit, but a uh, petition against his own label, UMG, saying that basically people use bots and finagle the numbers for not like us, basically to try to boost it so it could be equivalent, you know, make make it number one, all that extra bullshit. But this has driv driven a lot of people to pick a side. So, one of the people who picked aside potentially is Meek Mills. As I know, he already in the spotlight because of his relation with Diddy. But coming back to this, we ain't we we could touch base on that later. Uh, as you know, a lot of people looking at it is like you should have just gave up. What's the point in filing? You know, just let it go. Not like us was whooping that ass when it was out here. But now you salty trying to escalate this shit. Anyways, Meek put a post on X saying but meek be tripping yeah i didn't like you know what i'm saying like i'm tripping now granted he could be going through some personal shit and he just posting it on x but it's just a convenient timing of we see this man reacting to some shit and all of a sudden posting what he you know i'm i'm putting a petition out but granted meek did try to put out a hundred thousand for anybody who can find some information that connected him with diddy you know what i'm saying so i think Nigga, yeah, you be tripping. But <laughs> who else? Sorry, I had to do that. Um, it ain't just spread it that far, only to rap. It's actually gotten to sports, where you got people like Jalen Rose actually cracking a joke about Drake suing on Inside the NBA. Check this out. AD doing his part in the first half. Two-point game. Busted. I don't know if y'all should be playing that Kendrick. Y'all want to get a lawsuit up there. Sons, my. <laughs> Lawfare stuff. Scare us around. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, I'll be? American Express halftime. Not straight up, I ain't going to lie to y'all. That TV off with that mustard yelling. And that man just start going in phenomenal. If you ain't listened to the album yet, I, I would recommend you go check it out. If you like it, if you love it, whatever it is. Let us know. That mug is called GNX. My favorite track is actually between uh, Whacked Out Murals, which is the first track they dropped. And then also, uh, I believe it or not, I like Peekaboo. Peekaboo goes hard to me. You know what I'm saying? But he, a lot of them songs just hit anyways. They just, it's a, it's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different vibes. Kendrick definitely took us through with that motherfucker. But he does sound like a straight up villain through the whole album. Anyways, stepping forward, of course, shifting gears. Drake isn't alone in his mug. He still has fans that support him and I guess are still backing him because it ain't like he just, you know, a piece of shit. Nigga just mad and he's salty. Shit, I'd be mad too. But anyways, you got someone like Kevin Durant posting on his Instagram after Drake released his single, No Face. He put up a text saying, what the fuck are we waiting on? And then had a screenshot of 30 for 30 freestyle. Then put the lyrics in saying, when the higher ups have all come together as a collective, when the conspiracies to end my run and send me a message, 40, did you get the message? 
Hey, Squabble Up is a dope ass track. Nah, no, I'm playing. Don't I sound biased as hell? I sound like a little hating ass nigga. My bad, y'all. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm 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 a stand real with it, nigga. No, you never keep it real, my nigga. You just be in here talking and laughing to your fucking self, nigga. Get a job, bro. I work with. I'm. I got a job. I'm taking care of my kids. I'm doing everything I need to do. I'm a good father. I'm a great man, and I'm supportive. Just as supportive as Funk Master Flex, who claims that Drake is 100% right in the fact of this UMG legal drama. Flex simply put on X, formerly known as Twitter, he said, Drake is 100% right. National play per song. Drake don't pay for play. Poop slash contemporary hit radio, 350K. Urban radio, 250k mix show 100k local mix show director 40k local dj 3k to 5k per song djs on the radio five days a week this is why independent artists don't rise to the top all you artists know i ain't never take a dime from you your manager or your labels bomb has no price thursday 7 p.m hot 97 let's discuss and don't forget to tune in to urban culture and like subscribe share and comment because bomb has no price and keeping your ear to that juice is what they do no, all right you know he should have said that shit but he, he is extremely supportive of the fact that drake don't pay for it and he feel i guess he feel like kendrick and his side had been paying for some plays and shit like that. Who the hell knows? All I got is accusations. And this ain't the first time Drake actually took things to a legal matter, which is actually kind of funny. He actually threatened legal action against Degrassi in 2006. So when the AV Club ran an anniversary piece on Degrassi, The Next Generation, one of the show's writers, James Hurst, reflected on his relationship with Drake and the concern he had regarding his portrayal on the show. He was so concerned that Drake threatened legal action before the start of the sixth season. He quote unquote said, there was a letter from a law firm in Toronto and it was from Aubrey. The letter stated that Drake would not return to Degrassi the next generation unless his character's injury is healed and he's out of the wheelchair. And the craziest thing is, his career has just entered a wheelchair. Now nah, I'm playing. That nigga's still gonna be popular. But he ain't he ain't new to this. If if he don't like something, he gonna make sure he do what he needs to do to support his image. And I think with this one, it might be taking a hit on his image, but at the same time, he like, nah, nigga, I'm gonna prove y'all had to pay for them extra views. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have to pay for them plays. Which is cool. I hope the utmost of success. And if that is something that happened, yeah, bring it to light. Cat Williams talked about it. 2024. Let's let that happen. Plus, he had a name drop in Kendrick Lamar's album, which is dope also. But speaking of Kendrick, he went on ahead and posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, showing a screenshot of him getting support from Buster Rhymes. He said himself, Buster Rhymes shows love to Kendrick. I, re I remember you was conflicted. No, I'm playing. Shows love to Kendrick Lamar's new album, GNX, via Instagram. Quote, unquote. King Kendrick, such an incredible body of work, brilliance and lyrical craftsmanship at its finest. Thank you for continuing to raise the bar. Crown emoji. But Buster Rhymes put a bunch of goddamn crown emojis in there. So he definitely, you know what I'm saying, straight up support of this man's work. And Kendrick, of course, is showing appreciation for that support. I think this is going a whole lot of nowhere. Kendrick just making his music. Drake upset about what happened in the past. I don't think he loses often because y'all saw how he did a lot of people. Besides Pusha push T, he lost that. But I'm getting tired of this legal lawsuit shit. Let's go to something a little bit more lighthearted and actually kind of hilarious. I want to talk about Ray J and what he said with Nicki Minaj on their IG call. I'm just, I'm gonna just let y'all watch it. We're just gonna end on this note. I'm gonna let y'all watch it. Hey, let them no, I'm not let my butt. Yeah. Nah, I ain't letting them, like, you gotta get to the balls before you get to the ass. But my huh? thing is, if you gonna accidentally lick my balls and then lick my ass, then I, I'm chilling. Cause I, I, honestly, I always get in the shower before I have sex anyway, so my ass is always gonna be clean and my balls. So you like how I feel internally. Okay, so how do you feel internally? Like, are you, are you scared? 
I just feel like after you name me Raja and I've been telling people that's my name, all the girls, every, it's been up. I've been up. And so you was right about the name. Okay. Now. Has anyone licked on your balls and said Raja yet? Or the head? Body nick. Um. I'm. I know. Not yet. Excuse me. This is a fucking court, sir. I didn't ask you about your showers. I when you said my new name, why are you I trying turned to turn you me up? Whoa, 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 excuse me. No, 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 excuse you me. turned me up, meaning like you turned me up. Like all respect, nothing sexual, nothing freaky. Because I respect you, Mrs. Petty. I do. But it's just something that you do to your, like to people and your fans and the people around you and like you just so magnetic. And so you mag mag magnetizing me to the energy and I love it. Like I fucking love this shit, Nikki. I love being on live with you. I ain't even gonna lie. This I'm having such a good time. I don't give a fuck how it go. I'm having a good time. What is this with your eyes that you're doing it with? Like what I'm just showing you that I'm confident, like I'm serious. I'm looking you dead in your eyes. Um what what would you look at somebody like though if you wanted them to like you? You know? How y'all doing? Want to be unattractive. I want to be unattractive because I as just want to be focused. As a safety mechanism. Yeah, but, but I think that you are just beautiful, Nikki. I'm Listen, honestly, I'm going to hang up. Because we're not going to play like that. I just said you was beautiful like everybody Ray else J. in the comments. It Ray was 100,000 people J. said you was Ray J, we're not going to play like that. I know why you're doing that. Why? But tr trust me, it won't be the ending you want. So I won't be happy? Okay, so stop playing like that. I'm sorry. I, I just think you're beautiful. And, and that's, I'm all... But, no, be honest. How you normally used to kick it to the, to the, the hoes when you was doing that? Yeah. Don't ever do that. Do okay. not ever right. in your life. Okay. Do that again. Don't Please. I, that was what I used to do back in like 2015 anyway, so never again. What the f <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, I'm Yo, sick. what the fuck is you doing with your eyes? Like, I'm just like, I got to show honesty with you. You ain't playing. You can read through everything. So I got to show you like how I feel internally. Okay, so how do you feel internally like are you are you scared i just feel like after you name me raja and i've been telling people that's my name all the girls every it's been up i've been up and so you was right about the name okay. yeah i swear to god i'm not having another conversation without looking somebody in their eyes like that this bad rachel <laughs> Dog, I was sitting here dying through that whole interaction. I find that highly entertaining. That was actually extremely entertaining for me. Uh, and Nikki just right along with it called like, what What the hell are you doing with your eyes, man? Don't, don't do that shit. But she did hang up on him, and I respect that. She told that man. Y'all saw the damn video. I ain't got to recap it. Anyways, though, what y'all think about this? Y'all going to start glaring at people like that when y'all trying to get some shit done like if you at work and you're trying to get days off you're gonna look at your boss like that or even if you just go in and get the, get you that double quarter pounder with cheese you know what I'm saying head to a, a mcdonald's and get you a meal wherever you're trying to eat it and just make sure you keep that eye contact to let them know you serious you confident you serious <laughs> All right, y'all, that's enough. I really do hope y'all enjoyed y'all time. I do enjoy making these videos as far as looking at the news of what's going on. It keeps me up to date with what's happening. But more than anything, I appreciate your support, your time, y'all patience. Again, be sure to like, share, leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping in the view. And if you're a return viewer, thank you so much for coming back. We do appreciate that every single day. Hope your Thanksgiving as well. You already know who it is. Urban culture saying peace.